What's happening guys? Mikey Ellison, we just got four Lunas in today, literally four from Discraft, so we will be uh, putting those up on the website, but again, we did only get four of them, so um, going to hit us up on the side, maybe I can get you or at least pictures of what we have and uh, go that way. Daniel McGarry, it is going great. How's it going for you? Chris Adams, welcome. Jacob, how's it going? Kevin. Um, so what we're looking at in Saxony is a little bit of everything we have. Um, Innova, Disc Mania, some Discraft, um, some Dynamics, some Latitude. There's an XCOM, a Launch, a little bit of Axiom, MVP, Infinite. Um, Prodigy is in there. There's a few Pro Discus, um, a West Side, but the main ones are definitely Innova, Dismania, Prodigy, Discraft in those order probably. So, how's it going, JT? Um, so, welcome to Distax. Um, I want to apologize for Tuesday. We had some issues come up that we had to take care of. And we appreciate you guys sticking with us as we had to deal with that stuff. Um, we are back, though. We are happy to be back. We are just getting back in the groove of this stacks. And, yeah, excited. Um, Adam already has the list up tonight so far. It looks like we're a little over halfway sold out. So, still plenty of pulls left if anyone is looking at getting in. Um, sounds good, JT. Um, yeah, we had... Uh, nice, Kevin. I'm glad you found some of those, man. We did, so I will mention that we have worked out a deal with DGUK to get some more launch discs. Some more DGUK discs as well. So, we will have... More DGUK and launch discs coming in, um, and we'll have a, those in a variety of plastics, and we're very excited about that. Before, we were only able to get base plastic of both of those brands, and we are now going to get some of everything that they have, including some glow plastic that they offer as well. So super excited about that. Sarah Drayton, how's it going? Sarah is a newly acquired Team Fisher member. We did reach out about adding some women to the team, which we have done. We're in the process of finalizing um, two or three more, and then that will be it. So um, excited to add some ladies to Team Fisher. It was much needed, and I'm glad that we were able to get some really great players and great people as well um, to join. So welcome and congratulations to all the ladies that received an offer and are joining Team Fisher. Um, thank you, Dylan. Yeah, we, we have a big team. We do. We have about 
A little under 50 team members. We have um, about 30 ambassadors as well. So uh, we, we won't really be adding any more other than probably a few local people just to strengthen our home base as ambassadors. But um, yeah. So all the five pulls are gone. Yes. Jarrett, how's it going, buddy? Uh, yeah, we just another thing got a lot to go a lot going on today guys we released the first team fisher stamped disc team member clint calvin who is also a latitude 64 player um he's rated i the rating just changed this past monday um but i want to say he's like a, a 1031 player um he's a really great disc golfer a good dude if you haven't heard of clint calvin Check them out. We just got um, five molds, five different trilogy molds with the Clint Calvin stamp on them. And we have one in the Chasers tonight. So you will see that here soon. But know that all of those discs are available on the website, fisherdiscgolf.com. Um, you can get any of those five discs there. And the proceeds from those discs go directly to Clint to help support and fund his tour and his events. So um, when you get those discs, just know you are helping out Clint Calvin as a player and as one of our team players more than you're helping Fisher Disc Golf out, okay? So jump on and grab those. We have Ballista Pros from Latitude. We have Mavericks and Raiders from Dynamic. And we have some Harps and Underworlds from Westside. Those, again, are all available on the website as well as the Fisher Disc Golf hats right here. Um, you'll see another one of those as well. Um, so, if you're not familiar with us, welcome. My name is Levi. We have Adam over here. Kind of see him. There he is. Um, we are Fisher Disc Golf. We do this every Tuesday and Friday. We're just getting back into the groove of doing it after a rough march for us. Um, was. We had a lot going on. Um, we are the exclusive retail sponsor of the Running It with Nate Sexton podcast hosted by Jarrett Orr who is commenting here and Nate Sexton. If you haven't checked out that podcast, please do. Um, I haven't personally been able to listen to it today. I had a very busy day, but it is. I listen to every episode. I will be listening to it this weekend and um, they had a very special guest on this week. Ricky Waisaki, Mr. Ricky Waisaki um, was on the podcast that premiered today. He is also right now tied with Calvin Heimberg in the lead at the Jonesboro Open. So <clears throat> Jarrett just said it, so I'm going to go ahead. I was keeping it quiet until now, but Jarrett just commented next week, Ken Climo. The man, the myth, the legend, the 12-time world champ is the guest for next week's episode of Running It with Nate Sexton. So do yourself a favor, go listen to the episode with Ricky, and stay tuned for next week as Ken Climo will be on. We are also going to be doing a giveaway um, for a Ricky Waisaki autographed disc. So... Keep your eyes peeled. Make sure your notifications are on for our page as we will be doing a giveaway for a Ricky Waisaki autographed disc. Um, and there will also be, without giving too much away, there will also be a, a giveaway happening um, with the podcast as well here soon. So make sure you're listening to it. Make sure you check out that podcast. Find out about that giveaway, um, which will be very soon. And yeah, um, if you have already checked it out, thank you very much. Thank you for supporting us and thank you for supporting the Running It With Nate Sexton podcast. It is a great show and um, we we're, couldn't be happier to be a part of that. So um, also I want to quick mention, yeah, see Jared saying there could be a sexy firebird in the future for one of you guys. Uh, so make sure you're listening to the podcast. Um, with that being said, we are putting in a nice Innova order. We're supposed to be putting in an order on Tuesday. We also have the second wave of Ledgestone. 
We haven't got an official date yet, but we are assuming in the next two weeks that will be available for you guys. So um, know that that stuff is all on the way. And without further ado, we can get started. What's up, Steve Harrop? How's it going, buddy? Um, I'm going to give an explanation on how this all works for anyone that may be new. And we'll get started. I know our first poll tonight, Jacob Kuhn, is over in Germany right now. Um, I'm assuming serving. I'm not Did sure. You talk? I'm no, assuming. I I'm assuming that he's serving. I don't know. He said he's in Germany. Jacob or yeah, Jacob Kuhn. If you're here, let us know, man. If you are in the service or if you're just over there for other work related or um, or maybe you're just on vacation. But he's the first poll tonight, so we're gonna try to get through the explanation of how this works, so he can get pulling because it's 1 a.m. in Germany. So, without further ado, let's give you guys the rundown. We have this stack, so we have three stacks of disc right here, stack A, stack B, and stack C, okay? Um, those represent the 100 available below. Now, you're going to use the link that's pinned at the bottom of the Facebook comments, or you can use the link that is in the title of either the Facebook or YouTube post. To go to our website and purchase your polls. Now we do stream on both YouTube and Facebook. YouTube does give us a little bit crisper of quality as far as the video goes. So if you're really trying to eyeball a disc, switch on over to YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Last I checked last night, we were three subscribers away from 500 on YouTube. Guys. <coughs> we want to get to that thousand, but we got to start with that 500 mark. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. So. Once you get your polls, you'll be put in line. We do have, and you'll see right up here, it says up now, number one. So that will change as we go. So Jacob Kuhn is going to be number one. So if you purchase polls, Adam will continue to update the list that's on the Facebook page. There will be a number next to your name. That, name, that number will represent where you are in line right up here, okay? So if you're number 30 in line, you know. If we're on number five, you still have 25 people ahead of you. So let's say we get up to you, it's your turn, you bought two pulls. What you're going to do is send us over two letter number combinations, all right? Again, this stack A, this is stack B, and stack C. So let's say you want to go A3 and B2. I'm going to take the third disc down in A and the second disc down in B. I'm going to pull those out. Those discs are yours. Shipping and tracking is included in all of your pulls, okay? I'm going to show you each of those discs. Again, those discs are yours, you get to keep them. I'm going to give you the flight rating, tell you about them. And I'm going to flip them over one by one. And if on the back of either or both or of your disc, you have a green piece of tape like this with a number, that means that you have won one of our chaser discs. So this has a number one on it. This is the number one chaser tonight. Um, so if the disc you pulled has a number one, you will be winning the number one chaser tonight. And those are numbered 1 through 12. You can see down below there are 12 chasers. We also have 21 items. Those are all taped in blue. So if we pull a disc out of here and it has a blue piece of tape on the back, it'll tell you exactly what you've won. It could be anything from a koozie and can topper combo to a t-shirt to a water bottle. All sorts of good stuff over there. There's even a free pull hidden in there. All right. Now, regardless if you win any of the chasers or items, there's no extra cost, no extra shipping to you. It just goes in with your pulls, and it's all sent together, all right? That's how disc stacks works. Now, at the end of the night, we do a second chance giveaway. So we put everyone's name on a wheel. If you bought two pulls, you get your name on the wheel twice. If you bought four pulls, you get it on there four times. What we'll do is after we're all done, we'll pull the wheel up, we'll spin it, and whoever's name it lands on will win... One of these Fisher Disc Golf Trucker Caps. Now this is a pretty green one with the black embroidery, black back there. So somebody tonight will be taking that home as well in their box. Now if you got your name on there more than once, you could possibly win a second second chance giveaway. If we sell out tonight, we will also be giving away one of these Dynamic Disc recruit, Micro Recruit Baskets. Again, if we sell out, so no matter what, the Fisher Disc Golf hat will be given away. If we sell out, we will do a second spin, and we will give away this Dynamic Disc Recruit basket, okay? Micro Recruit. So, 
Again, if you bought two poles and you have your name on there twice, you could win both of those if we sell out tonight. I'm going to show you guys what the 12 chasers are and we'll get started. The first chaser tonight is from the Memorial Championship, and I couldn't even tell you the year, is a sick titanium Nuke SS, kind of a blackish halo with that red burst die. Titanium Nuke SS from the Memorial Championship. That's chaser number one. It is a 173-174. Chaser number two tonight from Infinite Discs is a Zoe and Dyke Signature Sphinx. Swirly S Blend Signature Sphinx. A little bit of a light blue and light pink swirl going on in this. Real pretty stamp. Again, Zoe Andyke Signature Sphinx, 173, 175. That is chaser number two. Chaser number three tonight from Discraft, one of the Paul Macbeth Zeus. And this has that sought-after flower stamp that everybody loves. I know I love it. Really sick. Green and a little bit of a blue swirl in there. Chaser number three, 173, 174 on the Zeus. Chaser number five, how about this beautiful five-time signature stock buzz. Look at the color in that. Just a sick pink swirl, and it kind of gets to almost like a brownish in here with this purple halo and shatterberry stamp. Just a sick, sick five-time buzz. Chaser number four, it is 173, 174. Chaser number five, we pulled this off the website last week so we could put it up as a chaser. The last Haley King Stalker from the 2020 Tour Series run with Discraft. This is a Z blend, uh, very beautiful, kind of a faint yellowish green, um, and very clear still through here. Um, again, Haley King Tour Series Z Stalker, chaser number five, 175, 176. Chaser number seven, how about the, or excuse me, that was chaser number five. Chaser number six, another sawed after disc here, the Big Z Luna that was released a little over a month ago. We got one up on the chaser wall for you tonight. Kind of a, a wine red pinkish color with that holographic foil stamp. Chaser number six, 173, 174 on the Big Z Luna. Chaser number seven tonight from the Wave 1 Ledgestone drop. It is the Z Sparkle Zone. Kind of a light blue in the rim, but crystal clear through the center with the rainbow gradient foil stamp. Chaser number seven. It is a 173-174. Chaser number eight from the 2017 Ledgestone Insurance Open. Four-year-old, brand-new, flag-dyed Z-Buzz. It's a money disc right here. Chaser number eight, max weight, 177 plus. Chaser number nine, again, I talked about it earlier, the Clint Calvin, the very first ever Team Fisher signature stamp. You can see the Clint Calvin signature down there. Um, this is a Shiba Inu which uh, the stamp was created after one of his puppers. Uh, really cool. Excited to have these. This is a Dynamic Raider. Um, this is Chaser number 9. It is a 171. Chaser number 10 tonight. One of the stock Page Pierce Fierces. The thing I like about this one compared to all of the other Fierces that we get is that this has more of that jawbreaker style look to it. It doesn't have the swirls like you normally see. It has this kind of jawbreaker look to it. Uh, really cool, really pretty disc. That is chaser number 10, 170, 172. You know, somewhere Deuce is licking his chops. Um, chaser number 11. How about this Get Freaky Zone? Now, on the camera, it looks like it's crystal clear. It does have a faint pink to it like very very faint pink otherwise it, it is crystal clear red foil stamp get freaky crystal flex zone chaser number 11 173 174 and our last chaser tonight from the michigan disc golf organization a limited edition rubber blend banger gt again these were ran specifically for the michigan disc golf organization um and you're not going to find this disc 
anywhere else for a while if they even run these again for anyone else. The Rubber Blend Banger GT Chaser number 12, it is a 173-174. Those are your chasers tonight. We'll put these up on the wall. And uh, as we normally do, we'll uh, go through. Let us know which one you would pick as a shower and which one you would pick as a thrower. And we'll let you know what ours are. If I can get them all up here. We'll let Adam start with his shower and thrower tonight. Oh, geez. I don't know, I really, uh, I think I'd, uh, hang up. Ooh, I don't know, I just saw that. Let's see. A lot of good stuff. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the get freaky. The was that that ice pink? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd hang that on a wall for sure. And I might I I probably throw that uh, Haley King stalker for sure. Good choice. I think I personally. Would probably, you know what, I'd probably do the Get Freaky as my shower as well, just because it is so clear and beautiful. My thrower is hard, because I would throw all of them. <laughs> um, I really want to try the Big Z Luna, but I know it would take place of one of my other discs in my bag, so I wouldn't want to throw that. The Rubber Blend Banger GT really just appeals to me for some reason today. It just seems like a really cool disc, but um, those, I don't know. That Raider, the Clint Calvin Raider, would be a cool forehand, backhand uh, utility disc, so that's what I'm thinking. Um, we got some people chiming in got to show the clint calvin throw the king stalker i like it hang the nuke throw the banger yeah got to throw them all hey there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that so um we're gonna get started guys thank you all for jumping in and checking us out checking the stream out hang out you don't have to buy any polls just hang out if you'd like and uh Check it out. We have Jacob Kuhn starting us off tonight. So, Jacob, if you're here, go ahead and send on over your five pulls. Well, he did answer earlier, too. He's not military. He's a, a missionary over there. So. Uh, gotcha. That's cool. Thank you for doing that work as well, Jacob. We appreciate that. Um, it's his 40th birthday this year, so he's going with the birthday numbers. A6, A19... B6, B19, and C19. All right. Jacob Kuhn's pick polls are in. We're going to get those drawn. Just to give you guys a quick update, Aaron Evans will be second, Scott Vallejo third, Mike Ellison, and then Kevin Smetano. Those are our first five up. So you guys are all on deck. Be ready. Um, Aaron Evans, you'll be up next. But we're going to start out with Jacob Kuhn. This is his first time pulling, doing some great work over there in Germany, some missionary work, and... Uh, we're going to see if we can't get them something out of the stacks tonight. Here we go. Jacob Kuhn. We're going to start you off with A6 and 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. All right, stack these back up here. Now, if you're new, you'll notice A1 is right here now. So when we count down, let's flip over. We got B6 and B19. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. This wider table is harder than that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get 
Okay. Did you pull a 16 out of something? 19? I just heard you say 16 at the end there. Did I? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. If, some, if I said 16, somebody catch me right now. I'll draw C19 real quick. Sometimes I, uh, talk, when I talk and count at the same time, it's hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, yep. fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. I did say sixteen. You did sixteen, yeah, it's in the okay. nineteen. Okay, well let's fix that real quick. So go down to fifteen then to 16, then to the second below, 15. Yeah, so this would be 16. Yeah. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 was right here. So 17, 18, and 19, I'm just going to pull that out of there for this one. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, but we got it, I'm glad we got it sorted out for you. And here we go. Jacob Coon, first time pulling. Best of luck to you, buddy. Your first pull tonight is. Oh, you know what I did. <laughs> there we Almost. go. We're on track. Now we're good. We got it. It's been a minute. First pull tonight, Jacob, is from RPM Discs out of New Zealand. It's one I don't think I mentioned earlier. Uh, they make some amazing plastic. We've heard nothing but great things. This is the Cosmic Kotar. It is a 12503 flight rating, so a nice overstable thrower. Um, beautiful metal flake, red plastic, matte black stamp. Nothing on the back of it, though. 175 is the weight on the Kotar. And to accompany that from Discraft, an ESP Force, the Paul Macbeth 5 times signature. Nice pink swirl and matte blue stamp. This has the same exact flight rating as the Kotar. At 12503. Let's check the back out. Nothing back there on this one either. It is a 173, 174, but a beautiful force there from Discraft. Third disc from Prodigy is from their Ace line. It is an understable model mid range at 45 negative 11, and this is a glow Duraflex blend plastic. So a nice glow disc here for you. And let's check the back of it out. Nothing on the back. 180 max weight on that disc. It has a very beautiful star, blue star foil as well. So that is yours, Jacob. Your fourth disc from Innova is a star katana with a sick die job. It is a 13.5, negative 3.3. So it's a high speed, understable driver. I actually threw a katana at one point in time. It it does uh it can go. If you can get it, it can go. Let's check the back out. Nothing back there. 170 is the weight on the star katana. And your last disc, Jacob, from MVP is a neutron teleport. This is another high speed driver. Um, this one is gonna be not under stable like the other one, but it's still going to have some flex. It is a 14.55, negative 1.5, 2.5. It's a uh, bright, bright green. Let's check the back. And we do have an item. It's the free pull. There we Congrats, go. Congrats, Jacob Kuhn starting us off hot with the free pull. Weight is 174 on the teleport. Jacob Kuhn. You got, I was hoping you'd get something, man. I was having a little doubts after the fourth pull, but got yourself the free pull. That means you get one free pull out of the stack, okay? So send over one more letter number combination. You're going to get yourself one free disc out of here. But you never know, that disc might have a chase around the back, so you could double up right here. Um, go ahead and send that over whenever you're ready. I'm going to update the board. While we wait for that to come in here. And that is the first item off the board. C6, you got it. C6. One, two, 
three, four, five, and six. All right. Now, you got something that's going to actually be similar to the first couple you got. This is from Prodigy. It's another Ace Line disc. This is a stable model driver. This is another Glow Duraflex plastic disc. So you got yourself a nice Glow disc driver disc out of here. Now this is close to that Kotar and that Force. It is a 13602. So it's going to have a little more glide and not be as stable as those other two. It's a nice bright yellow with a pink glitter foil stamp. Let's see if you can double up and get yourself anything else on the back. Nothing back there. 174 is the weight, but you did get yourself a very beautiful free disc out of stacks. Jacob Kim, thank you very much for jumping in. And um, have fun over in Germany. Take care of yourself. We'll get those all sent out to you. And uh, yeah, I think that might be the first time the free pull's ever been pulled the first pick tonight. Yeah. I think so. So congrats. Um, we got Aaron Evans up next. Aaron Evans, two pulls. Go ahead and send them over whenever you're ready. We got Scott Vallejo up next. So, Aaron Evans, two pulls. Uh, Albin, yes, we're actually in the middle of working on our new website. And uh, we plan on making international shipping available once we get that website straightened out. So, it is coming. Uh, just be patient. We'll have that um, before summer. Yeah. Before summer, for sure. We're hoping to have it up and running before this next drop of Leadstone in a couple weeks. But uh, we want to make sure it's all good and, and ready to go. Uh, the last thing we want to do is, is have our new website up and, and have something not work out. So, Aaron Evans is going B6 and C6, both from the bottom. Uh, JT Seymour wants to know what we're drinking on tonight. Well, right now, we're drinking on some Limoncello LaCroix. Oh. Limoncello LaCroix. And I'll tell you what, these actually are really good. They actually taste sweet, where you don't get the that, like, sweet, like... Yeah, that's weird. Isn't it? Like, you get sweetness out of some of the flavored waters, but this, like, almost has, like, a false, like, sugary sweetness to zero it. Zero calories, zero sweetness, zero sodium. That's great. Hmm. Uh, that's what we're sipping on tonight. Here we go, Aaron Evans, best of luck to you. B6 and C6 from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're so hardcore. Right there. I know. And then C6, one, two, three, four, five, and six. He's got two dyed discs coming out of the stacks. Let's see what they are. Your first one, Aaron, is a dynamic lucid felon with a very beautiful highlighter, day glow yellow. A little bit of a green and blue yin yang dye. Red foil stamp. This is a 93.54. So a very overstable 9 speed driver from Dynamic. Nothing on the back of it though. 173 is the weight. Beautiful pickup there. And your second disc is another dyed disc. This one is a flag dyed VIP harp from West Side Discs. A 4303 flight rating. Um, pink foil stamp. Let's check the back. Nothing back there on this one. The weight on the harp is... Wow, I don't see it molded in there. They're always molded into these discs, but this one does not have it molded in there. Adam's going to put it on the scale for you. We'll see what the weight is on that harp, Aaron. But a couple of very beautiful dyed discs there from Trilogy between the Dynamic Felon and that West Side VIP harp. About a 174. 174 on that harp for you, Aaron. Hope you like those, buddy. Thanks for jumping in. And we, I didn't update the now serving. We are on number three, Scott Vallejo. Scott has five pulls. Go ahead and send them over, Scott, whenever you are ready. Down to 93 available. And. <laughs> JT, I know, man. I have horrible migraine allergies every spring. 
And whenever I even drink one beer, it for some reason just makes me get them. So I am kind of on a uh, no alcohol kick for a little bit, as I do every spring, unfortunately. I would love to drink one of these uh, two hearteds that Adam had here I had a, a minute big old ago. Can of two hearted when I got here, but I just had the one because I have to drive home tonight. Responsible. Love some two hearted. If you don't know about Bell's two hearted, you should. It's an amazing beer. Scott Vallejo watching over on YouTube. Scott, thank you very much. He is going A3 from the bottom, B8, C6, C5 from the bottom. And A3 from the top. All right, Scott, best of luck to you. Mike Ellison, you will be up next, buddy. I'm going to start over here with the A's. A3 from the top and the bottom. One, two, and three. And we got three from the bottom. Pull that out of there. And we have a B8. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. I see a theme here with Scott's first three poles. See if the last two are also white discs. We got C6 and C5 from the bottom. So five from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. Right there. And he also is going C6. One, two, three, four. Five and six. All right, there are your five discs, Scott. Let's see what we got for you, buddy. Your first disc is from Prodigy. It is an Ace Line, understable model driver, flight rating of 13.6, negative 3.1. It's all white with a blue holographic foil stamp in the premium Duraflex plastic. Nothing on the back of it. 174 is the weight on that. The second disc coming from Disc Mania, an Evolution Origin, 5.5, five, negative 1.1, one, one, a solid mid-range in Disc Mania's lineup, all white, pink foil stamp, nothing on the back, 175 is the weight on the Origin, I'll need Adam's help on this one, it is the Pro Discus Laser Eye. Yeah. Pro Discus Laser Eye, it is a straight fairway driver. As stamped on here, it's all white, gold foil stamp, flight rating on the laser eye. I want to... Pull up. Pull up. Oh, you're good. Adam's getting it pulled up right now. Yeah. We're, sh we're kicking off the rest. We're both doing it. Yeah, all right. 10-6, neg 1-1 one, one on that laser eye. There you go. 10-6, neg 1-1. One, one. That's a fast fairway driver right there. Let's check the back of it out. And we do have an item back there. It is a koozie can topper combo. Weight is 166 on the laser eye. And we got a koozie can topper combo. We got a Fisher Disc Golf koozie right here, as well as a dynamic disc can topper. So you will be all set with any cans that you have on or off the course. That is yours, Scott. Your fourth disc. From Latitude 64 is a flag dyed Opto Line Pure, a premium plastic putt and approach disc from Latitude 64. It is a 3 3 negative 1 1. Let's check the back out. Nothing back there. This is 174 on the Pure. And your last disc, we never found that gateway uh, thing, did we? I don't know where that's going. Oh, it's man. Here. Well, we got a gateway disc for you right here. Um, I'm trying to see if I can figure out what the disc is. We had a cheat sheet here, and it got misplaced, so I can't tell you exactly what the Does disc it have is. have the, the initial or the abbreviation on there? It's, it looks like it says ERM43, <laughs> is what it says on here. Is Anyways, it a driver? Uh, it's a, it probably a mid-range. Adam's going to try to find that for you, but we'll show it to you. It is all white. It has the Gateway Underground stamp with a beautiful Rasta foil. And we're going to flip it over on the back real quick. You did get another item. It is the T-shirt. Congratulations, Scott Vallejo. You got yourself a T-shirt. 178 is the weight on this. 
I think maybe ease the plastic and then RM or PM. Adam's going to try to find that while he does that. We're going to need your shirt size, Scott. We got some Discraft tees here. Um, this is the one that we set aside. Um, this is a double XL, but we have all different sizes. If, and if we don't have your size in this specific t-shirt, we'll get you something. But Scott, let us know what size t-shirt you wear. We'll throw this in your stack for now until we get that straightened out. Congrats, man. Two nice items. Five great, great discs. I don't know what this one. No? no? We can try to look that up for you, um, but otherwise, like I said, you can, that does have a mark right here. It looks like it says E-R-M, um, and then it says like 45. Usually they, we can tell what the disc is with the abbreviation, but this one's different than normal. So that is all your stuff though, Scott. We hope you like all that. Thank you very much for jumping in. We appreciate you. And we're going to update the board down to 88 available. And two more items just came off the board. No chasers yet. We are now on number four. And Mike Ellison. Uh, Tony Ross, you want to answer, or you want me to tell him real quick? Tony? Yeah. <laughs> Tony Ross. So if you purchase polls, your name will be added to the list that's on our Facebook page. You will have a number next to it. That number will be, if you see right over there, it says up now, number four. So whatever number will be next to your name is where you are in line. Um, you probably won't be pulling for at least another hour or so, but once we do get to your name, you'll just let oh, us know. He's number 15. So oh, number 15, okay. Yeah, he'll be coming up in the next half hour. Okay, so you're number 15. So you'll give us three-letter number combinations. Um for your pulls. So right now we have Mike Ellison up. He has three pulls. So you're going to see him send over three letter number combinations. Okay, Scott, I got you down for a large, buddy. Thank you, Antoine. We appreciate it, buddy. Mike Ellison, three polls. We have Kevin Smetana up next, followed by Ben Murphy, Dustin Mills, Jared McGlinchey, all coming up. So Mikey Ellison's in with his three polls. He's going A5, B4, and C14. Best of luck to you, Mike. Yes, there are still polls available, Dan. Yeah, Tyler, that an element would make sense for that uh, gateway disc. Ah, that's yes. the only one in mid-range. That's all the element, but I was like trying to yeah. parse out RM or whatever I that think was. it is a, an element. Yeah, that would make sense. They Mike Ellison. A5. One, two, three, four, and five. We got B4. One, two, three, and four. And then we have C14 for the last pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. There we are, Mike Ellison. Stack these back up. Let's see what we got for you, Mike. Your first disc I'll need help on is from SkyQuest. It is the Lucky 13 from SkyQuest Discs. This is the Lucky 13 mold, triple color stamp on there. Kind of a lighter yellow color <laughs> disc. The flight rating on this is... 10.5 make 3.2. There you go. So an understable 10-speed driver for you. There is something on the back. It is a Koozie Can Topper Combo. 170 is the weight on the SkyQuest Lucky 13. Mike Ellison. And another koozie can topper combo. The Fisher Disc Golf koozie with a dynamic discs can topper. That is yours. Your second disc tonight coming in from Innova is a deep, deep red champion Wraith. Wraith is the first disc I ever learned. Um... So I, I do have a little bit of attachment to it. It is an 11.5, negative 1.3. Again, very dark red, blue foil stamp, 
nothing on the back of it. 170 is also the weight on the Ray. And your last disc, also coming from Innova, is a Pro Starfire with a beautiful die job here. Sunburst die with that blue halo rim. This is a 10.5, negative 1.2 flight rating on the Pro Starfire. Let's check the back out. Nothing back there, buddy. 175 is the weight on that. Three nice discs here, though, for you, bud. And one item, so congrats on that, Mikey Ellison. We're going to update the board here. Down to 85, and another item gone brings us down to 17. And we have Kevin Smetana. Kevin Smetana, four pulls. You are up. Ben Murphy will be up next. Dustin Mills, Jared McGlinchey, JT Givens, and Mac Givens all coming up after that. Um. What poll number is April? April. The one that. Oh, uh, for Mike, uh, she, uh, she's 13. 13 is April's poll number there, Mike. Kevin Smetana's going A7, B7, C7, and A1. Kevin Smetana, best of luck, buddy. Here we go. A1 and A7. So one right off the top. Two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. We're going to go to B7. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then C7. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Kevin Smetana, four pulls. Let's see what you got. Your first disc I'll need help on the Pro Discus Midari. Or Midari. One or the other. <laughs> Pro Discus Midari. It's a nice green uh, gold foil stamp. This is a straight mid range. The flight rating on the Midari is. 5-4-neg-1-2. There you are. 5 4 neg one two. Nothing on the back though, 176 is the weight on that. The second is from MVP, is a Neutron Energy, a high speed overstable driver at 13404, super flat, light yellow. And there is an item on the back, it is a patch zipper pull combo, 171 is the weight on the Energy. And we have. A nice MVP throw gyro patch, iron-on patch for you, as well as an MVP zipper pull that you can put on your bag. Those are going with your MVP energy right there. Your third disc I'll need help on from RPM out of New Zealand is a Kiwi. The RPM Kiwi. This is a beautiful, it's like a, between a, a red and an orange color. Uh, more reddish pink. A lot of metal flake in there, silver foil stamp, flight rating on the Kiwi. 10-4-0-3. Nice overstable 10-speed driver. Nothing on the back of it though, 175 is the weight on the Kiwi. And your last disc coming in from Disc Mania is another Evolution Origin. 5-5-1-1, five, five, one, one. this one's bright yellow with a pink foil stamp. Nothing on the back. 174 is the weight on the Origin. Kevin Smetana, hope you like all those. Nice hit on one of the items there, buddy. We'll update the board as we have Ben Murphy coming up for his first pulls, I do believe. Sarah, we have a bunch of RPM that aren't on the website. So if you're interested in anything, please let us know. Um, we do have more. They're just not on the website as we're trying to make the change right now. So, Ben Murphy. Ben should be, I think he's number six. Ben Murphy is number six. Ben Murphy, number six. You are on the clock, my man. 
I have honestly wanted to put an RPM disc in my bag, and I haven't yet. Yeah, I keep I talking about it, <laughs> but I do want to. Maybe I'll try one of those Kiwis out to replace that Raptor that I lost. Yeah. Because it's the same thing, it's just one more speed. Sure. So maybe I'll try one of those. Ben Murphy, though, four pulls for Ben. We're going to see if we can't get that first chaser off the wall. We've already had five items drawn in the first 19 discs. So items are hot right now, but we still have not had one chaser pulled yet. So, Troy, um, Troy, I can give you a quick explanation once I get Ben's disc pulled. So, Ben is going C1, A4 from the bottom, C7 from the bottom, and C4. I'm writing all your colors down as well. Uh, Troy, so how this works is is you can use the link at the bottom of the Facebook comments to go to our website and purchase pulls. Okay, we do this every Tuesday and Friday. Now, there are, as you can see, 81 discs still available. Uh, that does not... That does not actually equate to how many pulls are still available. So we do have pulls left if you want to get in. If you bought, so Ben Murphy bought four pulls. He gave me four letter number combinations, okay? So we have stack A, B, and C up there from left to right. So with his four pulls, he gets four discs out of there. Those four discs are his no matter what. Now we're going to show him what those are. and When we flip them over on the back, if there's a piece of tape on the back, that means he's won something else. It could be a chaser or an item. The 12 chasers are the discs that are hung up on the wall back there, okay? Those are the 12 chasers. Now, those are signified by green tape. So if he pulls a disc out of there and it has a green piece of tape on the back, it will have a number that corresponds to one of those 12 discs. If there's a blue piece of tape like you just seen with Kevin's pulls, it'll be an item and it'll tell you exactly what you want. Now, if you get any chasers or items, there's no extra cost, no extra shipping. It just gets shipped with the disc that you pulled. So no matter what, if you buy one pull, you're guaranteed to get a disc, but you also have the chance of getting more. Now, at the end of the night, we also do a second chance giveaway. So, everybody that purchases throughout the night tonight, is their name is put on a wheel, and we spin that wheel, and we do another giveaway for somebody. Okay, so that's the gist of how it all works. You'll kind of pick it up as we go. So, Ben Murphy, um, we got A4 from the bottom. One, two, three, four. He said orange. It is orange-ish. Yeah, it's orange. Yeah, it's orange. Uh, can you make sure is it C1, C4, and C7 from the bottom? They're all in C, the rest of them. Uh, let's see. There's A4 from the bottom. Yep. And then it's C1. Yep. C1 right off the top. Yep. And then C4 red. So two, three, and four. Four, kind of like an orange-ish. Yep, and then C7 from the bottom, blue. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there, all right. Let's see what we got for Ben Murphy with his first time pulling. I'm going to put these in the order that you picked them. And you picked them in that order right there. Your first pull tonight, Ben Murphy, is from Innova. And it's actually a Blizzard Champion Beast. 10-5, negative 2-2 two, two flight rating. Beautiful day glow yellow with that red uh, stun, sunburst dye around it. Kind of turns orange a little bit out there, mixing with that yellow. Again, Blizzard Champion means it will be a lightweight disc. So let's check the back out. Nothing back there. And the weight is, it's penned on there, but I can't read it. I'll have Adam weigh that beast for you. We'll get you... Uh, the grams on that should be about a 150 something, 140 something. It'll be like a super light one. It's a 138. 138. Wow. Might be one of the lightest Blizzard discs I've seen. Really? It's possible. Oh yeah, because it looks like it says 135 or, right. eight, or eight. Right. Eight. So 138 on the Blizzard Beast. Wow. Your second disc, Ben, I'll need Adam's help on, is from Latitude 64. It is a Gold Burst Pioneer. Latitude 64, Gold Burst Pioneer of that orange swirl. The US AM Match Play Championship stamp. And the flight rating on the Pioneer is... It is 
9304. All right, 9304. So just like a felon or a raptor. Uh, let's check the back out. Nothing on the back. The weight is 176 on the Pioneer. Your third disc coming from Dynamic, another beautiful dyed disc. This is a Lucid Maverick. This is a 74 negative 1.52, so a nice control fairway driver with a beautiful die job. Let's check the back out. Nothing back there. 176 is the weight on the Maverick. And your last disc tonight, Ben, I'll need Adam's help on again, is the Discraft Wasp. This is the Z Wasp, and this is before they started putting the flight numbers on it. So, um, yeah, Discraft Wasp. I know it's an overstable or, or stable to overstable mid range. Flight rating is 5302. There you go. Nothing on the back of the Wasp, buddy. Weight is 175, 176. Congrats on those poles, Ben. Sorry we couldn't get you anything extra, but we hope that you enjoy all of these. And we will update the board here down to 77 available. We have Dustin Mills up. Dustin with one pull. Go ahead and send it over whenever you're ready, Dustin. We got Jared McGlinchey up next. JT and Mac Givens following that. Dustin Mills though, one pull. Go ahead and send her on over, buddy. Greg Pagano, thank you for liking. Josh Pemberton, Christy Acton, Andrew Pettit, Jaka, Katie, you guys are all here. Tony Ross, thank you guys so much. Ben, I'm glad that you liked those, my man. Thank you for sharing the stream, Kevin Smetana. Appreciate you. Dustin Mills again with one pull. Uh, ben, your next poll is, uh, I think his next one is down quick. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. <laughs> um, where is it? 32? 32. Oh yeah, you're looking at probably pulling around 9.30. So you got about an hour and a half, so if you want to take a break, feel free, but we'll be just a little bit before you pull your next one. Uh, again, we got Dustin Mills up, which I thought I seen him commenting earlier. He must be really taking his time to uh, hone in on one of those discs here. Still no chasers pulled as we're nearing the first quarter of stacks tonight. So let's see if we can't get one of those out here soon. Uh, we're going to see if Dustin answers, and, and I'm just going to say this. Um, as I do every uh, every show that we do, if somebody is not here when they are supposed to be up, we will go ahead and set them aside and continue moving on until they show up. And then when they do show up, we put them right back in right there, wherever we are at that point. So um, that's what will happen if we don't hear from Dustin in just a second. Our good buddy Tyler Dembo just tagged Dustin, so I'm sure he will be here. Uh, very shortly, but we'll give him just a minute, and we'll uh, go from there. Uh, Mac Freeman, how do you know which number you are? If you go out to the, if you go to our Facebook page, there's a post that has everyone's name listed on it. So if you go to that and uh, check it out, you'll see what number you are. Adam's pretty busy right now getting some stuff together, so. I believe he, I believe I have it up there. Okay, should be on there, buddy. Kyle Henderlong, what's up, man? How's it going? Roger that. All right, we're, we'll, I know Dustin will be here. We'll come back to him. Jared McGlinchey, if you're here, go ahead and send your two polls over. Jared's a Team Fisher Disc Golf member. And social media games on point. Jared McGlinchey. I haven't seen anything from Jared yet tonight, so not sure if he is here yet either. Um, just so anyone knows also that is new, we used to do this at 8 p.m. Eastern every day, or every Tuesday and Friday. We switched it to 7 p.m. Um, 
with summer coming out and with us having to, to either participate or help run or present tournaments, we decided to bump it up an hour just to give us more time to get some rest. So it is going to be at 7 o'clock from now on. Uh, we have Jared McGlinchey in with A14 and C9 and check into the shirts. Oh, he's telling for people to... Ah, yeah, so we're actually waiting for some more shirts to come in. We don't have them live on the site yet because we're waiting for them to come in and we didn't want people to order them, but we will have some more shirts coming. Um, Jared, A14 and C9, best of luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And we got C nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. Jared McGlinchey, here we go. Your first pull is the other. We had two gateway disc in tonight. This is the other one. Um, it just says E. It's a driver. Gateway E. Um, it is a driver, though. It has the gateway underground stamp, triple stamp down there. I'll tell you what. The edge of the rim back here, the lip of the rim, is very sharp. Very sharp. I feel like I'd cut my fingers on this throw in this thing. Um, I'm checking out to see if we can't find anything on this disc for you. While he does that, we're going to flip it over. There's our first chaser of the night. Chaser number 12. 173 is the weight. Feel the rim on that. Doesn't it feel like sharp? Wow. It's like sharp. Yeah. Chaser number 12, the first chaser of the night. Jared McGlinchey taking this rubber blend banger GT. From the Michigan Disc Golf Organization Limited Run. That is yours, buddy. We're going to throw that in plastic. It is a 173-174. Can't find any info on this one either. we got to locate that cheat sheet still. Jared, I'm telling you, man, this thing is sharp. It's like razor sharp. I would be scared to throw this. Yeah. I didn't realize how, like, might need to sand it down even. Your second disc, Jared, is from Innova. It is a Pro Boss Bright Orange. has that world record distance stamp on there. It is a 13.5, negative 1.3. And you got yourself an item on the back, a Fisher Disc Golf Towel. 175 is the weight. Jared McGlinchey, smooth pulling it out here. So, Jared, I, I'm assuming I know what color you're going to want, but we have a purple with pink, a Fisher Disc Golf Towel, or we have an orange with black. You let us know which one of those you would like, and uh, we'll get it thrown in there for you. As well as your chaser. Man, you cleaned up. I'm assuming he's going to want the orange just because he picked two orange discs. But we'll see. I'm going to update the board. We got our first chaser of the night gone, as well as our another item and. We're down to 75 available. And uh, he wants the orange and black. You got it. All right. Um, no Dustin Mills yet that I have seen. So we're going to go to JT Givens. JT, go ahead and send over your three polls. Mac Givens will be up next. All right, JT Givens, Matt Givens, Sarah Drayton, Daniel McGarry, April Ellerman, and Kevin Smetana all coming up. JT's got his picks in. He's going A8 from the bottom, B14, and C6 from the bottom should all be white. JT likes to die some discs. Let's see what we got for him tonight. A8 from the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Last white one in A. We got B14. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is fourteen. I know he said he wanted white, so we're going to give him this one right there. That is what he was going after. And stack these back up nice and neat for you. C6 from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, and six, right there. All right, JT, here we go. Your first disc tonight is from Innova. It is a Pro Katana, 13.5, negative three, three. Understable high-speed driver, purple foil stamp. And there's another chaser, chaser number two, 169 is the weight on the Katana. Congrats, JT. You are taking home this Zoe and Dyke Signature Sphinx from Infinite Discs. Beautiful stamp on there, 173, 175. We'll throw that in plastic for you. And <clears throat> your second disc I'll need help on is from XCOM Discs. Now, XCOM is out of China, and this is their mid range mold. It is called the Eden. So, this is the XCOM Eden. Again, all white disc, <clears throat> excuse me, gold foil stamp, and the flight rating on the Eden is 5402. There you go, nice stable mid range. And there's an item on the back, it is a water bottle. 168 is the weight on the Eden. A chaser and an item right here to start off for JT Givens. We got a West Side water bottle here for you, buddy. That is yours. Congrats on that. See if what we got on this third one I'll need help on is the Respect Eye. This is a Pro Discus Respect Eye. Pro Discus out of Finland. This is a base plastic, all white, matte black stamp. The flight rating on the Respect Eye is 8402. Nice stable fairway driver. And there's another chaser, Damn. chaser number one, 170 is the weight on the respect eye, JT Givens. Two chasers and an item. You're taking home this titanium nuke SS from the Memorial Championship. That is yours, 173, 174. We'll put that in plastic. Two chasers and an item. That's probably going to be... Might hold up as the smooth pull of the night right there. JT, congratulations. We got Mac Givens up next. Mac Givens, go ahead and send over your four pulls whenever you are ready. We're going to update the board down to 72 available. And... We are down to nine chasers and 14 items. You just cleaned up right there. JT Givens. Wow. Mac Givens. Here we go. Four pulls. He's going A12 blue, A14 purple, C4 green, and B10. All right. Here we go. Mac. Sarah Drayton, you will be up next. A12 blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We got fourteen. So thirteen and fourteen. We're gonna jump on over to B10. B10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we have C4. C4. One, two, three, and four. All right, here we go. Mac, let's see what we got for you. Your first disc coming from Disc Mania and their active line. This is the Active Premium Magician. This is a 6402 stable fairway driver. Nothing on the back. 165 to 170 is the weight on the Magician. Your second disc, the Kiwi from RPM. And this is a very pearly 
light blue, clear through the middle, 10403 flight rating, gold foil stamp, nothing on the back, 172 is the weight on this Cosmic Kiwi from RPM out of New Zealand. Mac, your third disc from the Wave 1 Leadstone drop from Discraft. It is one of the ESP Tour Series Buzz 54 negative 1 1. And this has that silver wood grain stamp and a nice white and green swirl. A little bit of a black feathering in there as well. It's a beautiful buzz. Nothing on the back. Weight is 177 plus max weight. And your last disc Mac is from Prodigy. It is a Glow Duraflex Premium Plastic Stable Model Fairway Driver. This is a 10.5 negative 1.3 flight rating. Green. Starts to get a little bit darker on the outside. Matte black stamp. And on the back, there is a koozie can topper combo. 175 is the weight on that. And Mac, we have the last of the Fisher Disc Golf koozies with the dynamic can topper in there. Those are yours. Congrats and thank you for jumping in. We appreciate you, Mac. We'll update the board. Down to 68 available. 13 items left. And Sarah Drain, what number is Sarah? 11. 11. Wow, I'm not keeping up on that. We are now on number 11, Sarah Drayton. <laughs> Sarah Drayton, we got Daniel McGarry coming up next. April Ellerson, which I know Mike is picking for, or Ellerman, excuse me, and Kevin Smetana all coming up. Uh, still waiting on Dustin Mills as well. Which one? Uh, Josh Selzer is asking to miss his polls. Josh Selzer, you have not missed your polls, buddy. Number 23. You have not missed your polls. Tried to move up the uh, camera there a little bit for you if it's harder to see. I think I am sitting back a little bit farther than normal. Um, so that is there for you. Sarah Drayton coming in with A4 from the bottom, A10, C3, and B6. Sarah, thank you very much, and best of luck to you. A4 from the bottom, 1, 2, 3, and 4 right there. We have A10, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we have B six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we have C three. One, two, and three. All right. Here we go, Sarah. Your first disc is from Axiom. It is a Neutron Delirium. Now, this is a high speed overstable driver at 14.5, 5, negative 0.53. Beautiful green swirl, purple overmold rim. Nothing on the back of it, though. 173 is the weight on the Delirium. Your second disc, coming from Prodigy, is a Glow Base Grip. Understable model mid-range from Prodigy. It is a 4.5, negative 1.1. Again, this is a glow plastic, so nice pickup there. Nothing on the back of it, though. 179 is the weight on that. Your third disc from Innova is a beautiful iDie Champion Colossus. Another high-speed overstable driver. This is a 14.5, negative 1.3. Nothing on the back of it. 175 is the weight on the Colossus. And your last disc is an oldie. I'll we'll need Adam's help on. The Discraft Express. The X Elite X Express. Now this is an older disc. You can tell because it has the old school Elite X logo stamped on it. Really cool pickup here. Um, green foil stamp. The flight rating on the Express is 
Eight five, neg three one. There you go. So an understable fairway driver, and let's check the back out. Nothing on the back. One seventy three, one seventy four. Now this is another way you can tell this is an old disc. This craft doesn't even use these stickers anymore. So very nice pickup right here, Sarah. It uh, could be a shower or a thrower for you. Hope that you like all those. Thank you very much for jumping in and welcome to the team officially. We're going to update the board here down to 64 available. And we are now on number 12. Daniel McGarry. Daniel, go ahead and send over your three pulls. Whenever you're ready. Oh, Dustin's here. So, Dustin, we'll let Daniel pick. And then Dustin will be up next. So, Daniel McGarry coming in with B5, B9, and B17. Coming all three out of B. I like it. Dustin will be up next. Best of luck to you, Daniel. B5, 9, and 17. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we're going to 17. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. All right, Daniel McGarry. All three picks out of B. Let's see what we got. Your first disc is from Infinite Discs. It is an iBlend Sphinx. 8, 6, negative 3, 1 flight rating. Super bright green. Gold foil stamp. Nothing on the back. It says 160. I don't... I, let's double check that to make sure it's not a 168 and just penned weird. But it's probably a 160. Yeah, 160. 160. All right, 160 on the Sphinx. Your second is Daniel. A beautiful plasma wave from MVP. It's got a nice dark turquoise with some purples and oranges popping through there. The wave is an 11.5, negative 2.2 flight rating. And there's nothing on the back of this one. 172 is the weight on the wave. 172. And your last disc, I'll need help from Adam, is from Divergent Discs. This is the Divergent Leviathan. It is a mid-range mold from Divergent Disc. It is all yellow with the purple foil stamp. And the flight rating on the Leviathan is... 5-4-8-4-0. So a nice, super understable mid-range here for you. And you got yourself a Utilitouch on the back. Congrats on that. The Utilitouch, the weight on the Leviathan is 166 to 169. And Daniel is picking himself up this great product here, the Utilitouch half pouch, half towel. The Utilitouch has a grommet and carabiner in here. Hangs from your bag or your cart. I personally, well, Adam and I both personally use ours for our rosin bags. But it's also nice if you want to just wipe your hands off real quick. We do have more of these on the website as well. But Daniel, that is yours. Hope that you like that. We appreciate you jumping in tonight. And we are sold out. We are officially sold out. So we will have two second chance giveaways tonight. Nice. So we are going to update the board here down to 61 available. 12 items left. And we have Dustin Mills up with one pull. Dustin, go ahead and send that on over. That wave is sweet. Really cool wave. Dustin Mills, one pull. And then we have Mikey Ellison pulling for April Ellerman. And then we have Kevin Smetana up after that. Dustin Mills is going B7 from the bottom. Pink. Best of luck to you, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there. Let's see what we got for you. Now, this is from Prodigy. Their Ace line. It is a base grip glow, stable model fairway driver, blue star foil stamp. 
This is a 10-5, negative 1-3 flight rating. And there is an item on the back, a mitten bag. Congrats, Dustin Mills. Got yourself a rosin bag. 174 is the weight on this disc. Again, a glow plastic disc. And we have a nice rosin bag here from Mitten Bags in the shape of Michigan, which I am so happy that Dustin Mills from Ohio has a Michigan-shaped rosin bag for yeah. his bag now. Congrats on that. Uh, thanks, Dustin. Hope you enjoy. We appreciate you jumping in. And I know you'll appreciate that uh, rosin bag here. Uh, we're going to update the board down to 60 available. We have Mike Ellison. Mike Ellison. What is going on with this? What's going on? What are you doing? I don't... You're breaking somehow, it? Somehow I'm messing it all up. We don't have, I don't even know how many items we have now. I think it was 12. I don't know. The chasers went to 12 and then... Okay. We're getting back on track. I don't know what all happened right there. April Ellerman, again, like I said, we have Mike Ellison is going to be sending over the polls for April. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about the Second Chance Giveaway. You do not need to be present to win anything from the Second Chance Giveaway, guys. Uh, we got B5, B13, and B15. Everything coming out of B again. Here we go. Best of luck to you. 5, 13, and 15. Actually, you know what? Just to make it easy, let's pull this out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We'll put these in the order you picked them. Right there, we'll stack these back up. Slide them back in there. April Ellerman slash Mikey Ellison. Here you go. Your first disc is from Dynamic Discs. It is an Emac Truth. Lucid Plastic 5502 flight rating. Stable mid-range from Dynamic. Nothing on the back. 180 is the weight on the Truth. 180. Your second disc from RPM is a Cosmic Kotar. And this is a beaut right here. It is a shimmer finish. It's kind of a pink purple, but it has this blue. It's kind of showing up. There's a little ring of dark blue and another ring of dark blue around the rim. Some blue splatters in there. This is a 12503 flight rating on the Kotar. And nothing on the back. 176 is the weight on the Cosmic Kotar from RPM. And your last disc is from MVP. It is a Neutron Servo. It's so a fairway driver, 6.55, negative 1, 2. A nice control mid-range from MVP. Nothing on the back of it, though. 174 is the weight. Three beautiful discs here, though, for you, April and Mike. Hope that you like those. Thank you for jumping in. We appreciate you. And we'll update the board here. Down to 57 available. And we have Kevin Smetana up. Kevin, go ahead and send over your three pulls. Kevin Smetana, three pulls. Tony Ross will be up next, followed by Dylan Griffiths, Matt DeRossi. DeRossi. Alex Williamson, we got Chris Adams and Connor Loftus all coming up. Um, and Isaac Vowell, yes, you did get the last three. No, you, oh, no. No, I already answered. Oh, you did? My bad. He got, the, he got three of the last four. Oh. He bought two and then somebody snuck in and got one of them. Gotcha. Snuck them somebody them. snuck in there on you. Copy that, Mikey. So the next Mike Ellison, is it under your name, Mike? Or is it under William? Uh, the, the note will say William. Ah, okay. And then I put in captions, paid for by. Gotcha. So Kevin Smetana, three pulls. He's going C3, B4, and B6. Best of luck to you, buddy. Here we go. C3... 
one, two, and three. We got B, four, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Here we go. Kevin, your first disc from RPM out of New Zealand. I'll need help on the Kahu. Oh, yeah. It is a super bright yellow metal flake red foil stamp on the Kahu. It feels like a very nice disc, as do all RPM discs. The flight rating on the Kahu? 13.5, negative 1.53. There you are. Nothing on the back. 173 is the weight on this Cosmic Kahu. Your second disc from Prodigy is an understable fairway model fairway driver. It is a 10.5, negative 2.1. Green with the pink glitter foil stamp, and this is a Duraflex Premium Plastic Glow Fairway Driver from Prodigy. Let's check the back out. Nothing back there. 175 is the weight on that. And check this out. You got a Glow Understable Fairway. You also got yourself a Glow Overstable Fairway Driver from Prodigy. Again, same thing, Aceline Duraflex Glow Plastic. This is a 10524. So it's going to be considerably more overstable than that other disc. Nothing on the back of this one either. 175 is the weight. Kevin, hope you like those, buddy. Appreciate you jumping in. Got to find your other disc here, real quick, so I can put these on top of there. And we'll update the board down to 54 available. And we are now on number 15. We got Tony Ross. Tony, what's up, Ian? How's it going, buddy? Did you see Ian? He said it was up to you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not just back. Oh. Jeez Louise, that's what I get for... Well, I can't yeah. see him anyways. I guess my replies don't show up. I'm going to do a direct reply. Uh, yeah, not on mine anyways. Tony Ross, I believe this is Tony's first time pulling, if I'm not mistaken. C4, B3, and A4. Tony, best of luck to you, buddy. <clears throat> Dylan Griffiths, you will be up next. C4... One, two, three, and four. We got B3. One, two, and three. And A4. One, two, three, and four. All right. Here we go. Your first disc tonight, Tony, is from Infinite Discs. It is an Eye Blend Raw. I blend rod is a 5402.5, so overstable mid range from infinite. Nothing on the back. 180 is the weight on the raw. The second disc, Tony, from Prodigy is an Ace Line Duraflex over, overstable model driver. All yellow with the black stamp. It is a 13504 flight rating. And there is an item on the back. You got yourself a set of MVP lights back there. 172 is the weight on that. And Tony Ross, we have two MVP lights here for you, buddy. These are to tape on your disc for night disking or glow disking or dusk disking. Whatever you want to put them on for. They're triple LED. They have different modes, different colors. They are... Really nice lights. You got yourself two of those right there, Tony. Slide those under that disc. And your last pull tonight is from Discraft. It is an ESP Meteor. This is an understable mid-range at 5.5, five, neg 3.1. Has that copper grass stamp. And what would you call that? Kind of like a pinkish tan? Yeah, that's almost like a Red Rocks. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely showing lighter on the... Uh, Nothing on the back. 177 yeah. plus. It does, yeah, it does show up a little bit lighter on the stream, but those are yours, Tony. You got yourself an item. Three great discs. We hope that you like all those. And we'll, we'll update the board here. It's almost like a 
it's semi ace bandage ish. Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> ace bandage. A little lighter than that, but. Dylan Griffiths, three pulls. Go ahead and send them on over, buddy. Oh, yeah, those lights are great. Those lights are great. Dylan Griffiths, Matt DeRossi up next, followed by Alex Williamson. <clears throat> we got Dylan in with C1, A1, and A6 from the bottom. Dylan, best of luck. Um, <clears throat> do want to also shout out Dylan. He is an ambassador for <clears throat> the Team Fisher crew, so thank you, Dylan. C1 right off the top, A1 right off the top, and then we have A6 from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right there. All right. Your first disc tonight, Dylan, is from MVP. It is a Neutron Relativity, a high speed, understable driver at 14.5, 5.5, negative 3, 1.5. This is like right in between Day Glow Yellow and Day Glow Green. Nothing on the back of it either. 174 is the weight on the relativity. Your second disc, a beautiful plasma servo from MVP. It's got purples, pinks, orange, yellow. Just a sick swirl and an awesome disc. The servo is a, a 6.55, negative 1, 2. Check the back out. Nothing back there. 175 is the weight. That's a beautiful disc there, though. And Dylan, your last disc, I think you thought was probably going to be another MVP, but it's actually an Infinite Eye Blend Sphinx, all black with the gold holographic shatter foil. The Sphinx is a 86 negative 31 understable fairway driver. Nothing on the back of it. It is weighed at 163. So, those are yours. Dylan, thank you for jumping in, buddy. We appreciate you. We hope you enjoy all those discs. And we are going to update the board here. Down to 48 available. And we got Matt DeRossi up. Matt. Matt DeRossi, Alex Williamson, Chris Adams, and Connor Loftus all coming up. And Matt should be number 16, I believe. Matt, number 16. No, he's 17. 17. 17. Matt DeRossi, three pulls. Let's see what we can get out of here for him. I might need Adam to take over for a minute. No! Why? Because of this LaCroix is la running right through me. Oh, come on. Well, you said you wanted some practice anyways. Oh, you did say that. <laughs> you can roll your seat over there. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Just knock the lights over. Yeah. Matt DeRossi's on B6, C7 from the bottom, and A4. Best of luck to you, Matt. We had those three chasers all hit within two people. We haven't had anything since. Maybe Matt can change that. B6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We got C7 from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then we have A4. One, two, three, and four. All right, Matt DeRossi, you got yourself. First up, check this out. ESP Tour Series Buzz from Wave 1 of Ledgestone. Crazy color combo here. It's like a tan brown and a super light blue. Really a crazy color combo. It kind of like a bronze. Yeah. It's cool. Silver wood grain stamp on there. It's a 5.4 neg 1.1 one, one flight rating on the buzz. Nothing on the back. Max weight 177 plus. Congrats on that. Pull your second one from Infinite. 
This is a G-Blend Sphinx. So just like those other Sphinx we've been showing, but this is a G-Blend, which is the G-Star Plastic from Innova. This is a turquoise and red foil stamp. It is a 9-6-3-1. Let's check the back out. Nothing on the back. 170 is the weight. And... Yeah, I think I said 8, 6, negative 3, 1 on the last one, Dylan. It is a 9, 6, negative 3, 1. The last is tonight, Matt, is from Innova. It is a champion Archon. 11, 5, negative 2, 2 flight rating. Kind of a pinkish red, silver foil stamp. And there is an item back there. It is a set of UFO glow tape. 172 is the weight on the Archon. And... We have a set of UFO glow tape rings here for you, Matt. They are pre-cut half circles with a few full circles that you can use as well. This stuff sticks to your disc for as long as you'd like it to and has a great glow. That is yours, Matt. Congrats on that. Slide the, that in there. And thank you for jumping in tonight, buddy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We got number 18, and we are down to 45 available and 10 items. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Alex Williamson is up next. is going A1 and C1. That's pretty easy for me, so I guess I'll try that. One. One. All right, let's see here. First disc is an infinite pharaoh. It's eye blend. Um, flight rating's 13.6, neg 2, 2. Weight is 172. Turn it over, nothing on the back. Next disc from Innova, the G Star Rock 3, flight rating 5403. Nice mid range. Let's see, weight's 180, and we'll turn it over. Nothing on the back. Couple of nice discs for you. Hope you like them. Levi's taking forever in the bathroom. Think you might have a kidney stone? Chris Adams is up. If you want to get your pulls in, Chris. Thanks, Alex. Run number 19, Chris Adams. Nice. 43 left. No chasers or items had. Ah, okay. Thank you. 43 left. And we are on number 19. Number 19, Chris Adams. Connor Loftus up next. Chris is going C4 and B4 from the bottom. Best of luck to you, Chris. C4. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> then we have B4 from the bottom. One, two, three, and four is this blue guy right there. Blue guy. Let's see what we got for you. Your first disc, Chris, is from Prodigy. Their Ace Line Run, this is a Duraflex Premium Plastic Glow Understable Model Midrange. It is a 4-5 Neg 1-1 one, one green with the matte black stamp. Nothing on the back, 180 is the weight on that. And your second disc, Chris, is from Axiom. It is not blue, it's more of a gold. A little bit of a pink and blue in there. This is the Axiom Plasma Crave. 
It is a 6.55, negative 1, 1. Flight rating, let's check the back. Nothing back there. 172 is the weight on that for you, Chris. Hope that you like both of those discs. Thank you for jumping in tonight. We got Connor Loftus up. Connor. Update the board down to 41 available. And we are now on number 20. Connor Loftus. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you very much. We appreciate you very much. Connor Loftus, two poles. Bottom of C and B5 from the bottom. You got it, Connor. Best of luck to you. It's getting down there. We're almost 50-50 odds right now. Should double count the items. Two... Four, six. Yeah, I only have nine items. I think I have ten on there. So. Yeah, that's good. Bottom of C for Connor and B five from the bottom. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, Connor, your first disc tonight is from Innova. It is a Champion AVR Premium Plastic Putt and Approach Disc, two three zero one, red with the turquoise foil stamp. Nothing on the back. 175 is the weight on that AVR. Feels nice and uh, a little gummy almost. Second disc from Infinite is a C Blend Anubis. Super straight mid range. And this has the same turquoise foil stamp that, that, that the AVR had. Um, it is orange plastic. This is from their eighth run of the C Blend Anubis. 5500 zero, zero flight rating. Nothing on the back. 168 is the weight. A couple nice discs there for you, Connor. Hope that you like those. And we have JT Seymour. JT, go ahead and send your pulls over whenever you're ready. Down to 39 available. How many AVRs do we have? Oh, we have, I know we have a star AVR for sure. That's in the leftover box from tonight up there. Oh, okay. uh, other than that, I don't know. I might, I might have to snag that out. I broke my other one. I don't want to just have one putter. You broke it? Yeah, I had two. It was my, I, I must not have told you. Gail was practicing. Hit the top of the basket. Now granted, this is like a 13-year-old putter. Oh, yeah. It was like... It looks like it like landed on a stick. It's like it broke the flight plate right in the middle. Uh huh. Like it actually landed on something, but no, it just hit and it just Crazy. busted. How many? Uh, how many of you guys out there have ex have experienced that? I know I've seen pictures of it. I have not personally witnessed it, but I have seen it where a disc actually like break hitting something. Yeah, I'm trying to think where it's at. I think it might be at home still. Actually, I do think I did see it once. Now that I think well, I've played so many rounds. I feel like I remember seeing one hit a tree and just like. Splitting, yeah. almost. It's crazy. JT Seymour is up. One pull. We got Brandon Wilson up next. Josh Selzer. Justin Hart. Daniel McGarry. And Jeremy Taylor all coming up. So JT Seymour. One pull. We'll give him a minute to see if he shows up. Got a, we got a Luna. Oh, the old Luna Pupper Dogs is here. Uh, the old Luna Pupper Dog. Yeah. Yeah. She's so sweet. Come here. Come here, Luna. Or don't, you know. Jamie, no, no throwbacks in there. No, no more throwbacks anywhere. Or anyways. We do have some laying around, but... Uh, I think we have one extreme left here, one of the Drew Gibson extremes laying in our chaser box. So, yeah, Ben, um, I've I've seen it. Like I said, one time. It, I mean, up here in Michigan and in the north or northwest or northeast and Midwest, we get those cold winters. Um, 
that that obviously doesn't help but a very old disc will will do that yeah dan for sure winter golf is is when it happens more often um and our plastic is always going from temperature you know extremes so i'm sure that doesn't help and it probably weighs into that a little bit um jt seymour we have not heard from jt we're gonna go ahead and skip past jt until they show up brandon wilson if you are here go ahead and send your one pull over brandon wilson one pull A5. A5 for Brandon Wilson. One, two, three, four, and five. Brandon, you pulled yourself from Innova, a champion spider. Now, this is a stable mid range at 5301. Orange with a matte black stamp. We can kind of see through it. Nothing on the back. 175 is the weight on the spider for you, Brandon. Hope that you like it. Josh Selzer is up. Josh, go ahead and send on over your two poles whenever you are ready. And we are going to update the board down to 38 available. <coughs> Getting close to that 50-50 mark. I can't believe we still have nine chasers up there, guys. Nine chasers still up there. Uh, Josh Selzer coming in with two pulls. We'll be near the final third of stacks tonight. Hi, can you come here? Oh, thanks. Oh, look, it's a Luna. Hi, Luna. Hey. What a sweet puppers. All right, Josh's picks are in. We gotta go. Oh, okay. Here. <laughs> B five and six for Josh. Best of luck to you, buddy. B five and six. One, two, three, four, five and six. Right there. Josh, your first pull tonight is from Innova. It is a G Star turn. 12, 6, negative 3, 2. Understable, 12 speed, G Star plastic turn. Let's check the back. Nothing back there. 175 is the weight on the turn. And your second disc also from Innova is a DX Boss. This is a 13, 5, negative 1, 3. DX plastic. There's a chaser on the back of that one. Chaser number eight, 175. Josh Selzer, congrats. Chaser number eight, you got a throwback. 2017 Ledgestone flag dyed Z Buzz. Very nice. And it almost feels like a crystal. If you know anything about the crystal plastic, it feels more like a crystal than it does the Z plastic. Um, this is, again, chaser number 8, 177 plus max weight. It might even be a crystal buzz. I mean, it feels more like it to me than a Z. <clears throat> Definitely a lot more gummier. Justin Hart is up with three poles. Justin Hart. Go ahead and send him on over. We're going to update the board here. So we got another chaser gone. Going on over. Where's Ian Fisher? Justin Harp, three pulls. Yeah, Ben, that was crazy. I do remember that. I thought this week was your first pull, but I do remember that now. That was nuts. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you, Salzer. We appreciate you. Justin Hart, three pulls. JT Seymour, if you're here, let us know. Or if anybody does know JT Seymour, go ahead and give him a tag. I want to thank Ryan Young for liking and following. Ian Fisher with a share. How did I miss it? 
Thanks, Ian. I really need to get confused with that. Yeah? They're stinking. Oh, yeah. That's how I, I feel. Tread on them. That's how I feel a month after wearing any of my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> my, I don't, yeah, mine, I'm usually good. My feet usually don't stink, but... I think it's because when I get a pair of shoes, like, I'll get them and be like, oh, I'm going to use these shoes for this. But then I just wear them all the time. Yeah, they become, like, they break in, and you're like, eh, Like, I probably have it. 20 pairs of shoes laying around this house, but I only wear, like, two. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a big tote in the basement that's got a bunch of shoes. And most of them are ones that, like, I bought, and I was like, actually, I don't like these. These aren't comfortable. Mm -hmm. so I just don't wear them. Justin Harp's going C, 6, 7, and 8. Here we go. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And Justin Harp is also a Team Fisher disc golf player. Uh, Justin, here we go. Your first disc from Launch Disc out of the United Kingdom. This is the Code X over stable mid range at 5.5303. And another chaser on the back. Chaser number 10, 172 is the weight. <coughs> Chaser number 10 is this beautiful Paige Pierce Fierce. That is yours. Congrats on that again. I just want to mention there's not as much swirl as you normally see in these. They're more of that splatter jawbreaker style design. Isn't it? It's really cool. Chaser 10, 170, 172. We'll throw that in plastic for you there, Justin. Your next disc from MVP is a Fission Volt. Vision Premium Plastic 8.5, negative 1.2 flight rating. Orange plastic, black overmold rim, nothing on the back. 174 is the weight on the Volt. And your last disc from Disc Mania, their active line, the Active Premium Genius. 7.5, negative 4.1, understable fairway driver. And there is an item on the back. It is a UV flashlight. Congrats. 165, 170. Man, it seems like the people that are hitting are hitting. Got a UV flashlight here for you, Justin. Congrats on that. That is yours along with that Paige Pierce Fierce Chaser. That was a three with a chaser and an item. We're going to update the board real quick before we get going. Down to 33. We just can't hit that 50-50 odds. People keep hitting stuff as we move down. We have Daniel McGarry back up. Daniel McGarry, two pulls. Go ahead and send them over. Daniel, 25. Daniel is number 25. Nice. Thank you. We appreciate you, Justin. <clears throat> Daniel McGarry is up, followed by Jeremy Taylor and William DaCosta. <clears throat> Still waiting on J.T. Seymour. Daniel's going A4 and A7. <coughs> Best of luck to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, Daniel McGarry, here we go. Your first disc from Innova is a Champion Mamba. This is an 11 6 negative 5 1. So a nice understable driver. Pink silver foil stamp. Nothing on the back. 170 is the weight on the Mamba. <clears throat> and your second disc from Infinite is an Eye Blend Pharaoh. Just cherry red gold foil stamp. This is a 13.6, negative 2.2 two flight rating on the Pharaoh. And there's another chaser on the back. Chaser number 6, 173, 175. Daniel McGarry, congratulations. Chaser number 6 is the Big Z Luna. Nice hit, Daniel McGarry. Congrats. Chaser number 6, 173, 174. Adam's throwing that in plastic for you. <clears throat> i got to locate your other disc real quick. I think are over here somewhere. There he is. All right. Let's go ahead and update the board. 
Down to 31. Six chasers left. And we got Jeremy Taylor. Jeremy, go ahead and send over your two pulls whenever you're ready. William DaCosta will be up next. Followed by James Bogardis. Bogardis, yeah. You know what I think of every time I hear the last name DaCosta? And I believe this is correct. What? The Departed. I believe his name might have been William DaCosta. No, I don't think it was Wasn't DaCosta. It? Wasn't it? Who, what character do you think Leonardo of? Leonardo DiCaprio. No, there's too many times two. I know, I have two, and for some reason I, I just feel like that's the name, and it might not it's be. Costigan, I believe. Costigan. Yeah. It's William Costigan. That's yeah. what it is. I was close. Yeah. I tried. Old Billy Costigan. Yeah, old Billy. What was Mark Wahlberg's name? I don't know. Dignum. <laughs> I love him in that movie. He just talks shit the whole time. Poop. Sorry, this family friendly show. He's like, oh, I'm gonna believe you just because you're from Southie? <laughs> I love your mother. Yeah. Mitch Lowe, how's it going? I see you, buddy. We're seeing if we can get uh, Jeremy Taylor and Jake Mack. We're actually sold out tonight. We do this every Tuesday and Friday, though. So we will post every time that we get those polls available. Um, you have to purchase those, and then we put you in line, and then we go from there. So we'll get polls up for Tuesday um, sometime over the next 24 hours. And get those posted. Oh. So that's how you can get them. There's JT. JT Seymour. Go ahead and send over your one pull, buddy. We're ready for you. You did miss it, but we were actually waiting for Jeremy Taylor to come in. We have not seen him yet. So, um, JT Seymour, you can send over your one pull. Jake Mack, yes, sir. You can just buy right on the website. Again, we'll post a link and everything for that. But it is under the Fisher Disc Golf Live tab. Um, we just update that uh, just to keep it clean. We just put one show on at a time. Uh, so you will see those. And yes. Jeremy Taylor's here also. All right, Jeremy, you'll be up right after JT. So JT's going A6. Jeremy, you can send over your two pulls right now if you'd like. One, two, three, four, five, and six. JT Seymour, you just got yourself from MVP, a Neutron Dimension. Now, this is a high-speed, overstable driver at 14.5503. Light yellow, nothing on the back. 171 is the weight on the Dimension there for you, JT. Thanks for jumping in and hope you enjoy it. We'll update the board, and Jeremy Taylor will send his two picks in. <clears throat> yes sir thank you jake thank you for watching on youtube too make sure you subscribe we were very close to 500 subscribers we're hopefully there by now but jeremy's going b4 and c3 from the bottom best of luck jeremy william DaCosta will be up next <clears throat> b4 one two three and four and C3 from the bottom. One, two, three. <clears throat> <clears throat> having that, uh, having the old frog again. Old frog in the throat. Jeremy Taylor, your first disc from Innova is a pro boss. 13, 5, negative 1, 3. All red. Silver foil stamp with that world record distance stamp on there. And you got yourself a set of UFO tape on the back. 170 is the weight on the boss. And you got yourself a set of UFO glow tape rings. Again, pre-cut rings for your disc. They stick great and glow even better. Those are yours, Jeremy. And your second disc from Innova is a pre-flight number champion monarch. I do not have the flight rating on that. Adam will grab that for us. Again, pre-flight number, Champion Monarch, red with the matte black stamp. 
flight rating on the Monarch is... N5, make 4 one there you are. And there's a chaser on the back. Chaser number seven. Go. 172 is the weight on that pre flight number Monarch. And that is the Leadstone Wave 1 Z Sparkle Zone. Congratulations, Jeremy Taylor. That is yours, buddy. Chaser seven. 173, 174. Adam's going to throw that in plastic for you. Like I said, man, it seems like. We've had a few people hit one item, but it seems like people are hitting multiples yeah. tonight quite a bit. Jeremy Taylor, congrats, buddy. We'll update the board here. Trying to get down to those 50-50 odds, but every time we get close, someone's got to go and mess it all up. But that's okay. William DeCosta, William. Three pulls. That was Jeremy Taylor's first time pulling. Jeremy, thank you so much. Happy you got yourself some nice stuff right there, buddy. Congratulations. We appreciate you. William DaCosta, three pulls. We got James Bogardis up next, followed by Emily Riley and Jacob Long. Let's see what William DaCosta. Old uh, William DeCostigan can do here. <laughs> Three pulls. Or if Mike Ellison's still here, you want to let William know, unless William, you're already here. But um, what number was William? Is he 26? William is 27. 27. 27, William DaCosta. A6, B4, and C3. Best of luck to you, William. Here we go, buddy. A6. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got B4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and C3, 1, 2, and 3. All right, William, your first disc is from Latitude 64. It is a retro line burst compass, 5501, has an orange and pink swirl, red holographic foil stamp. And you got an item on the back. It is a dynamic beanie cap. Congratulations. 178 is the weight on the compass. And William, you got yourself a very nice B dynamic patch, dynamic disc beanie. That is yours. Nice item pickup. Your second disc is from RPM. It is the Cosmic Kahu. I forget the flight rating on this thing already. Cosmic Kahu. Now it kind of has this goldish yellow, but it has a little bit of like a red and blue kind of down here popping through. Some more blue up here. Flight rating on the Kahu is 13.5, negative 1.53. There you are. Nothing on the back. 173 is the weight on the Cosmic Kahu. And your last disc, William, is from Innova. It is a Champion King Cobra. Stable mid-range at 4502. All red, matte black stamp. And there's another item on the back. 175 is the weight. You got yourself a set of sunglasses or a pair of sunglasses. 175. And to match that dynamic beanie you just got, you got yourself a pair of dynamic disc sunglasses as well. Hope you like all this stuff, William. Nice hit on two items here and we can't quite hit that 50 50 mark we're going to open up or update the board down to 25 available two more items gone and we have james bogardis up james go ahead and send your two pulls over emily riley up next and jacob long <coughs> Two pulls for James. He's going 
A2 from the bottom and C1. Best of luck to you, Jamie. Here we go. A2 from the bottom is this pink one. And A1 off or C1 off the top is that pink one. Your first this, James, is from Prodigy and their Ace Line Run. This is a Duraflex Premium Plastic Overstable Fairway Driver at 10524. Nothing on the back of it though. 176 is the weight on that. And your second disc, James, from Disc Mania, is an Active Premium Magician. This is a 6402. That's a stable to overstable fairway driver. A little bit darker pink than what it's showing on the stream. Nothing on the back though, buddy. 165, 170 is the weight. Couple of nice discs there for you though, James. Hope that you like those and thank you for jumping in tonight. We got Emily Riley up next. Emily, go ahead and send your two poles over. And Emily should be number 28. Or no, number 29. Uh, Emily Riley yeah. is 29. 29. She's going A2 and C2 from the bottom. Best of luck to you, Emily. Here we go. A2. 1 and 2. And C2 from the bottom. That pink one right there. Emily, your first disc from Disc Mania is an Active Line Premium Mentor. 11.5, negative 2.2. Two. All pink, matte black stamp. Nothing on the back. 165 to 170 is the weight. And to match that, an Active Premium Maestro from Disc Mania. Now, this is a stable mid range at 4302. Same pink and black combo. And nothing on the back of this one either. 165, 170. A nice little Disc Mania Active Premium set though for you. And the Mentor and the Maestro, Emily. Hope that you enjoy those. I'm gonna update the board. Inching close to that 50 50 mark again. I say that, and somebody will probably hit something right here. We're now on number 30. Which is Jacob Long. Jacob, two pulls. Thank you, Emily. We appreciate you. Jacob Long, two pulls. Jacob Noggle will be up after Jacob Long with two pulls. And then we have Ben Murphy and Mitch Lowe all coming up. Jacob Long's in with A1 and B2. Best of luck to you, Jacob Long. A1 right off the top and B2. Right there. There we go. Your first disc, Jacob, is from Infinite. This is a sick G Blend Sphinx. All silver with the camo stamp. This I honestly could have saved this maybe for a chaser even. It's a 96 negative 31. Very sick looking disc. Nothing on the back of it. 173, 175 is the weight on the Sphinx. And your second disc from Axiom is a Cosmic Neutron Insanity. White, kind of almost a light blue swirl in the rim. Kind of has a red, pink, green, blue, yellow, all sorts of colors swirled in there. It's a 9.5, negative 2, 1.5. So an understable 9-speed driver from Axiom. And there is an item back here. It is a patch zipper pull combo. Weight is 172 on the Insanity. I told you somebody hit something. Can't quite seem to get to that 50-50 mark tonight. Jacob Long, we got a streamlined disc iron-on patch as well as a MVP zipper pull for your bag here as well. We'll throw those in between your discs. And we hope that you like those, Jacob. We appreciate you jumping in. And hope that uh, you like those. Update the board down to 19 available. And another item gone. And we have Jacob Noggle up. Jacob, go ahead and send your two over. Ben Murphy up next, followed by Mitch Lowe and Aaron Evans. 
Jacob Noggle up two pulls. Let's see what he can do here. Darn close to 50-50 odds. Still five chasers left. And four items. He's going B2 from the bottom. And C1. Ben Murphy up next. Here we go. B2 from the bottom is this pink one. And C1. Your first disc tonight, Jacob, is from the Discmania Active line. It's the Active Premium Genius. Understable fairway driver at 7.5, negative 4.1. Nothing on the back. 165, 170 is the weight on the Genius. Kind of domey on there. And your second disc is the Hawaii. The Hawaii from RPM. It's a 7502. Pinkish red, metal flake, matte black stamp. Again, RPM disc out of New Zealand. Nothing on the back. 173 is the weight on the Cosmic Hawaii. I think I said Hawaii the first Hawaii, time. Hawaii, Hawaii. So you got a stable fairway and an understable fairway here. Hope that you like those, Jacob. And we finally, with that, I think, reached the 50-50 mark. Ben Murphy. Ben Murphy, one pull. Mitch Lowe up next, followed by Aaron Evans and Peter Blair. A lot of one pulls at the end here. Or toward the end. Now Ben Murphy with the first pull of better than 50-50 odds. Let's see what he can do. Did anybody out there get, to get a chance to watch any of the live coverage today of the jo Jonesboro Open? And if so, what would you think? Excited for the rest of the, the weekend and the rounds? Probably get Jess watching some of that tomorrow too. Yeah. She's, you know, a, a disc golf aficionado. Yes. Got the wife turned on to it. Now we just got to get her to uh, take her a test to be an official so she can TD our tournament. No. <laughs> she, wouldn't, she wouldn't take crap. I know. That's why I'd be good. <laughs> I don't know. She'd go to jail. Bottom of B. <laughs> Hitting people. Grabbing baskets and you know, people. You don't do that. Bottom of B for Ben Murphy. Ben, you drew yourself out a beautiful G Star Valkyrie Ooh. from End of a Disc. This is a 9 4 negative 2 2. A beautiful new full stamp. Uh, gold holographic shatter. Orange plastic. Nothing on back though. 168 is the weight on that Valkyrie, Ben. How does the Valkyrie feel? Um, it's going to be like a. Think about what what else. It's like a uh, I don't know. trying to think of something that you have in your bag that would be comparable to. What's the numbers on it? Nine five negative two two. I don't know. That's so what I was trying to think if you had anything. It'd, it'd be kind of like um, it'd be close to like my Undertaker, but oh, a okay. little a little more turn out of it. Yeah. Initially. Down to 16 available. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to think if you have anything else like that. Mitch Lowe. Mitch Lowe, go ahead and send over your two pulls whenever you are ready. Is Mitch number 32? 33. 33. Yeah, when I just brought your your bag in. I was wondering when I've been out the last couple weeks where my uh my T bird is because everything I like Dude. had out there was all like super, you know, understable. Mm hmm And so some shots I'm like, well I want something that's gonna like not gonna go right first or go left like and I yeah, it was in, in that bag. Was inside that? in there. I guess Dude, I was thinking about it literally yesterday. I had a glow T-bird that I have no idea where it went. Well, 
Well, I don't have it. I, I know, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> I have no idea. I think I had a sweet spot stamp on it, though, so. Oh, uh-huh. I mean, uh-huh. you know. Oh, well. Not attached to it. Yeah. Mitch okay. Lowe, A3 from the bottom and B1. A3 from the bottom, one, two, and three is this red right there, and B1 right off the top. Mitch, your first disc is from Dynamic. It is a Lucid Emac Truth, 5502 stable mid range, red with the purple foil stamp. Nothing on the back of it. 177 is the weight on that one. And your second disc from Axiom is a Cosmic Neutron Insanity. Understable driver at 95, negative 2, 1.5. And there's a chaser on that there one. Chaser number 11, Mitch Lowe. Congratulations. 166 is the weight. Chaser number 11 is that beautiful Get Freaky Ooh. Super Light Pink Iced Out Zone. That is yours, buddy. Congratulations. 173, 174. Mitch Lowe cashing in on a chaser. And we're going to update the board. Update. Down to 14 available. Four chasers left. Four items still up there. We got Aaron Evans up with two poles. Peter Blair up next, followed by Dan Dodge and Caroline Franklin. Aaron Evans now up two poles. We got better than 50-50 odds. Uh, we'll see how this finishes out here. BMAC McFluff. Definitely an interesting tournament at the moment. There's a lot of people, a lot of big names up top there. We're going to see how it shakes out tomorrow for moving day for sure. Aaron Evans, C3 and A2. Best of luck. C3, 1, 2, and Three and A two. One and two. Alright, your first disc tonight. Well, first disc out of this pull is an Axiom Excite. Green, kind of a yellow, day glow yellow with green swirl in the on the flight plate with a purple swirly rim. It is a 14.5, 5.5, negative 2, 2 flight rating. Nothing on the back of it though. 175 is the weight. That's crazy how that camera just sucks the saturation out of the color. Out of Isn't it? It's like so pale. Looks like pea soup in this. The uh, Leviathan, Divergent Leviathan, which I believe is a 5 4 negative 4 0. Oh gosh. 5 4 negative oh, 4 so 0. So a very understable mid range here from Divergent Discs. It is orange with the green foil stamp. Is that right? Actually, it's a 5 4 negative 4 0. That was what I said. Well, you know. There is something on the back. It is the other Fisher Disc Golf towel. Aaron Evans, congrats. 166, 169 is the weight on the Leviathan. And we got a nice bright purple and pink Fisher Disc Golf towel here for you, buddy. Hope that you like that. We appreciate you jumping in. I gotta find your stack. There's another early one too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found them. So two off the board and another item gone. Brings down to 12. Three items, four chasers left. And we should be on what, 35 now I think? Uh, Peter Blair, yes. Yes, Peter Blair, two poles. Yeah, Aaron, man. Crazy. We're getting down to it, too. Not much left. Peter Blair. Peter Blair, two poles. He's going B2 and A1. Best of luck to you, Peter. B2 and A1. One, two, and here's A1. Your first disc from Prodigy is a Duraflex Premium Plastic Ace Line Overstable Model Driver. It is a 13.504 flight rating. 
And there's oh, one of the chasers, chaser number five, 175 is the weight. Peter Blair, congrats, you are taking home this Haley King 2020 Tour Series Z Stalker from Discraft. That is yours, my man, chaser five, 175, 176. Adam's going to throw it in plastic, and your second disc is another Ace Line Duraflex Prodigy disc. This is the understable model fairway driver. Is a 10 5 negative 2 1 orange with the red glitter stamp. And there is an item back there a Fisher Disc Golf Mini. 174 is the weight. And you know what? I'm going to trade this. Actually, I'm going to give you your choice, Peter, on the Mini here. Because I got a couple different ones. You can either take, now both of these are very limited. We have the less white. Fish or the less white Fisher Disc Golf stamp. There are only 200 of these made with Les White's design exclusively for Fisher Disc Golf in our holiday box. Or you can be the first person to grab yourself one of the Clint Calvin oh. signature minis. There are only a hundred of these made. So your choice. Let me know which one you want and I'll throw that in with your disc, Peter. And we'll update the board as Peter took an item and a chaser of those two pulls. We're down to 10 available, three chasers left, two items. We're still 50 50 odds. You want the white one? He's taking the, okay, taking the Clint Calvin. Well, I'm taking this one. Do you have one yet? I don't have, yeah, I don't have any minis. I have, all I have is that junior sheriff. For so, running, so, I'm at my tournament last weekend. Second day, first round. Guy I'm just with goes, I'm going to use my Fisher Disc Golf Mini. And pulls out one of the holiday minis, pink with a red stamp. And I was like, no way. I have the same exact one in my bag. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. Mini brother. All right, we have Dan Dodge. Dan Dodge, one pull. Go ahead and send it over. Caroline Franklin up next, followed by William Freeman. Dan Dodge up with one pull. We got 50-50 odds. Three chasers still up there. The Zeus, the Buzz, and the Clint Calvin Raider. Dan's going B2. Best of luck to you, Dan. One and two. Well, let's see what the mold is on this. I'm going to double check it. This is a I'll Need Help Dynamic Lucid Trespass. Dynamic Lucid Trespass. It has the USM Match Play Championship stamp. Yellow with that red foil stamp. The flight rating on the Trespass is... 12.5, Meg 1.3. There you are. And there's a chaser. Chaser number three. Congrats. 175 is the weight. Dan Dodge. You are taking home that Zeus we were just talking about with the flower stamp. That is yours, Dan. Congratulations. Green and blue swirl. Beautiful, beautiful Zeus there. Adam's going to throw it in plastic for you. And I think we have your name somewhere around here as well uh, already. I don't know if he's gone once, but he's, got, he's coming up again. Okay. I think he bought later. Did he? He might yeah, have just been on the chat earlier. Yeah, he was just on the chat earlier. Okay. Yeah, he'll be coming up again in a couple pulls. All right. Dan Dodge, congrats. We're going to update the board down to a... 11, down to 9, and two chasers, two items left, and we have Caroline Franklin, Caroline, you are up, Caroline is another one of our recent additions to Team Fisher in our, uh, in our efforts to get some more ladies on the team, Caroline is a great uh, advocate of disc golf, she just actually finished third at Collegiate Nationals. Oh, wow. With her partner. So, Caroline, congrats on that awesome finish at Collegiate Nationals. Everybody send her a congratulations. And this is her first time pulling on Distack. She's going C2. C2. Here we go. One and two. Caroline, you are taking a RPM Cosmic Hue Stable Fairway Hua. Driver. Hua. Way? Why? I that's what somebody told us, didn't they? I know. I always people tell me stuff and then I forget. 
I believe this is the 7502. Adam's going to double check it for us. Again, cosmic plastic. It is a super pearly yellow with the matte black stamp. And let's check the back out for you real quick. It's a seven. I know that. There is a koozie patch combo on the back. 173 is the weight on the Huawei. And Caroline, we have a hand eye supply koozie here with a hand eye supply iron on patch to match. Those are yours. Along 7502 is a nice stable fairway driver there for you, Caroline. Hope that you like that. And congrats on the item hit. We are going to update the board down to eight remaining. One item left, and it's a cool item. So it's my favorite item, I think, out of what we have. William Freeman. Thank you, Caroline. We appreciate you. And welcome to the team. William Freeman, one pull. Dan Dodge coming back up with one. Then we got Emily Riley. And Sean McCullough. And then we got Isaac Isaac Vowell, Anthony Flores, and Isaac Vowell back up. So William Freeman is going B1. Best of luck to you, William. B1 right off the top is from Disc Mania. It is an active line premium maestro. Now this is cool because you may have noticed all of the Disc Mania active line stuff we pulled tonight has had a matte black stamp. You do not see too many foil stamps on these. This one has a nice red shatter foil stamp. It is a stable mid-range at 4302. Nothing on the back of it though for you, buddy. 165, 170. Got some dome on this thing. Hope that you like it. We appreciate you jumping in tonight. And we have Dan Dodge. Dan Dodge, the guy who just took the Zeus off the wall. He's gonna try again. One pull. Number 39. Oh, forget about that sometimes. 39. Dan Dodge. You're welcome, William. Thank you. Dan Dodge with one pull. <clears throat> B2. C2 for Dan Dodge. C2. There we go. Best of luck to you, Dan. C2. Take the bottom one out of there. And you just pulled yourself from Prodigy. It is an Ace Line Duraflex understable model driver. It is a 13 6 negative 3 1 yellow with the pink foil stamp. Nothing on the back. 172 is the weight on that for you, Dan. Hope you like it. Put that back with your other pull there. And we'll update the board. Down to six available. Back to 50-50 odds with Emily Riley up. Emily, go ahead and send over your one pull whenever you are ready. Emily with one. And then we got Sean McCullough. I'm addicted now. Bottom of A again. That's why I got rid of it in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom of A for Emily. Pull that out of there. Emily, you just got yourself from Innova Disc a star turn. It's an understable driver at 13, or excuse me, 12, 6, negative 3, 2. Yellow with the red glitter foil stamp. Let's check the back. Nothing back there. 167 is the weight on that one, Emily. Hope that you like it. Thanks for jumping back in. We appreciate you. We're going to drop her on down to five available now. And we are on number 41. So we got five discs left, and three of them have something attached. 
Sean McCullough, you are up with one pull. He's going A3. Isaac Vowell, you got two pulls up next. A3, the bottom of A. And that is from Innova, a DX Destroyer. 12, 5, negative 1, 3. Yellow with the red foil stamp, DX Destroyer. And there is Chaser number 9. Sean McCullough, congratulations. 175 is the weight. And you just got yourself the Clint Calvin Team Fisher Signature Stamp Dynamic Raider. Pink with the purple foil stamp. Chaser number 9. It is a 171. We'll throw that in plastic for you, Sean. Thank you very much for jumping in tonight. We got Isaac Vowell with two pulls. We're going to update the board down to four. One chaser, one item left. Isaac Vowell could knock them both out right here, or he could leave them both. Either way, he still has another pull coming up. So Isaac Vowell, two pulls. See what he can do. We got Tony Flores jumping in between there. Tony is a Team Fisher Disc Golf ambassador as well. It's the same Tony Flores. Is he from the yes. Isaac Vowell with two pulls. We got our last four discs left. And then we have the. Uh, oh, Tony, you're up right after Isaac's two pulls, buddy. My bad. Isaac Vowell has two, and then yours, Tony, and then Isaac goes one more time. So you're kind of sandwiched in between Isaac's pulls here. Um, but if Isaac doesn't answer, then we'll give you a two, and then we'll uh, give him what's left. So. We'll see what he says here. We'll give him just a minute to jump in. I know he was here a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. Isaac Vowell. Just messaged me a little bit ago, but you mentioned we have this clunking in our house. It sounds like it's like something, something like the outside of the house, like on the not garage side, obviously, mm -hmm. like where our living room is. And I like I don't know if she'd hear that too, but I hear it too all the time. I'm like, huh. what is that? Water pipe or something maybe? Or yeah, because that's right above the. Um, the room with the, the water pump oh, in it. Yeah. Could yeah, be. It could be just a... Delete. I notice when I turn my water on there, sometimes I hear a knocking, like, yeah. on the wall. Yeah. But, could be. Hmm. Steve, hair up. Why do you got to do that, man? <laughs> I wish. I guess Isaac... Is going to have to go. Yep, I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to give Isaac the last three. So Tony, we're gonna go A two for you, buddy. I think he wanted the last three anyways. A two. So not the top one, but the bottom one. Tony Flores, you just got yourself a Discmania Active Line Premium Mentor. It's an eleven five negative two two flight rating, yellow with the matte black stamp, and this does have the last item back there it is the basket light and tony i don't know if you've talked to jay lately i know he just bought a couple from us but it is a lunar module this is a nice lighted puck led puck it sits right on top of your basket comes with a remote has batteries already in it you can change the color you can change the mode it's really awesome for night disking practicing putting at night all that um, but congrats, man. Nice disc and a basket light for you, Isaac, or not Isaac, Tony. We appreciate you jumping in. And that leaves the last three for Isaac Vowell. We'll run through those real quick. Um, we already know he's going to take this last chaser home. 
So we're going to throw that in plastic for him. So that is Isaacs. He is taking an Innova Champion Sidewinder. All yellow with a green stamp. 9-5, neg 3-1. Nothing on back. 172 is the weight. We got the Pro Discus Mitteri. I don't even know what to call that color. <laughs> um, that's his as well. Nothing on back. It is penned at 171. Looks like plastic from the 1970s. That's that color. <laughs> Oh, that's like what your carpet color was in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, is it green? Is it brown? Just everybody's walls <laughs> from all the smoking everybody did inside. Yeah. The day. A champion ape is the last disc. Overstable high speed driver 13504. That is where the last chaser was hiding. 172 is the weight. So those are all going to go to Isaac Vowell. <clears throat> Along with that last chaser. And it is time for the second chance giveaway. We did sell out, so thank you all so much for buying and helping us sell out. We're going to get, I, I'll actually, Adam already has everyone's name on a wheel. Yes, Again, if you bought two poles, your name's on there twice. If you bought 16 poles, your name's on there 16 times. All right, but either way, we have 100 names on there. The first name we land on is going to win one of these right here, okay? The second name we land on is going to take home a Fisher Disc Golf trucker hat. So, those are the two giveaways right there. We'll set them up here. And we have the wheel ready. We're going to move it on over to the wheel. And as you can see, right up top here, it says, and actually let me shut this off real quick. As you can see, it says 100 entries up top right here. That represents the 100 polls. Uh, everybody's name's on here. Dave Lantin, thank you for liking the stream. Good to see you in here. Uh, we got the wheel right here. We're going to shuffle all the names up. Again, the first name that we land on is going to get the Dynamic Disc Micro Recruit Basket. Adam's going to tell me when to stop. Stop. Here we go. Full screen and full send. The winner of that dynamic micro recruit basket is going home with Mike Allison. Mike, congrats. You just won that dynamic disc micro recruit basket. We're going to remove that one instance of Mike's name. We're going to exit back out. Now says 99. Up there, 99 entries where the mouse is. So that is with Mike's one name taken off. You can see that up there. We're going to put it back down on the wheel. We're going to shuffle them back up. And this winner will get the Fisher Disc Golf Trucker hat. Stop. Here we go. Drop. Shut them down. Open up. Shop. RIP DMX. I met him once. I yelled at him. Oh, yeah, uh, 21 Rock. Yeah. Yes. Ben Murphy. Ben, congrats. You just won the Fisher Disc Golf Trucker Cap, my man. That is yours. So, Ben Murphy's taking the Trucker Cap. Mikey Ellison is taking the basket home um, for our second chance giveaway from Disc Stacks tonight. We uh, thank you guys all so, so much. And um, we will be. Back on Tuesday with another Disc Stacks. Make sure you go check out that Running It with Nate Sexton episode with Ricky Wysocki today. And be ready for the Ken Climo episode next week and a nice Sexton Firebird giveaway that we will be uh, uh, they will have going on for Fisher Disc Golf listeners. Mm. So, um, Mikey, hit me up with a message if there's something you want to trade. I want to be clear with everything before I do anything for you um and since we're logging off guys again thank you so much thanks for being patient thanks for sticking it out with us and uh hopping on for another disc stacks again we will be back next tuesday at 7 p.m doing this all over again so until then you guys have a great weekend good luck in any events or rounds you may be playing in whether they're casual or competitive make sure you check out the jonesboro open live on disc golf network and until then, guys, 